Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the uh, Russian campaign uh, aircraft showcases. So I was hoping to have a lot more for um, for China to show off, but the game actually features a startling lack of Chinese aircraft or their equivalents. Um, so I was hoping to do things like the uh, Badger Bomber and stuff like that. They have other attack aircraft, but... Um, but the game doesn't feature any of that or their equivalents, so um, pretty much all that's left is some flanker variants, and then we'll move on to uh, the American aircraft. So today we will be featuring the J-11, also known as the Flanker L, and um, we will simulate this with just the uh, Flanker B. And um, custom weapon slow, 20,000 feet, 20 miles. And I think this one we're just going to have a straight, straight up fight with Russia. Um, supported, of course, by a, some average uh, J7s. Because <laughs> we will be. Um, Taking a hit on our armament uh, because uh, just go with using the Chinese armaments that are present in the game. We will be taking the PL10, and I'm not going to take yeah 20 miles. I'm not going to take more. So we're just going to load up on the close range. Oh, wait, that's only one. I only have you can fit two. Ah, uh, let's see here. What? That's weird. I'm not sure I buy that, but okay. Um, there we go. So we have six uh, PL7s and three PL10s. Uh, which should be more than sufficient for us to fuel load. Can probably decrease a bit to uh, 80%, make us a little bit lighter, and to represent the fact we've been in the air for a while. So with that, let's get started. And curiously enough, they use a different cockpit from the uh, from the flanker. They, they use the uh, Harrier cockpit here rather than the Flanker cockpit, which is uh, a very interesting choice. Yeah, so this is just a straight up fight. That is all of our buddies. Where's our... Uh... Ah, there's our missile sponges in the back there. <laughs> And really, that's all they are in this, is a distraction, but China's got the numbers, so... Alright, looks like 60% is the most we'll get. Um... Missile launch! Missile launch! Alright, they are... Missile launch! All right, someone got something, and we still got plenty of chaff left. Missile launch! Missile launch! Woo, we got that one, I think. Oh! And there goes our wing. Ah, we do have uh, IR sensors. Uh, wow, our. We didn't even need the the uh, J7s. Wow, that result surprises me. I fully expected us to have a harder time because of the semi-active homing missiles, and I knew they were inferior to the um, 
to uh, the Adders, because uh, I mean, it's named the Amramski for a reason, or nickname as such, but uh, wow. I, I would have given, in a straight up match, I would have given this to Russia. <laughs> but, in any case, that leaves us with uh, plenty of time to go over the, uh, the J11 now. The uh, Shenyang J11, also known by its reporting name, uh, its NATO reporting name as the Flanker L, is a Chinese license built version of the SU 27 operated by the People's Liberation Army Air Force and the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force. The original J11 was a 1970s proposal by Shenyang Aircraft Factory for a new light aircraft powered by uh, British Rolls Royce Bay 512 engines. Uh, and the goal of the project was to create a light fighter with better maneuverability than the MiG 19 and a better climb rate than the MiG 21. However, the project was cancelled due to difficulties in obtaining the engines from the British. Go figure. In 1998, China obtained a license to domestically build 200 SC 27 SK flankers for $2.5 billion using Russian supply kits. However, in 2004, production stopped after only 100 were built. In the meantime, China had been reverse engineering parts of the SC-27 and by 2002 had a mock-up of what would eventually become known as the J-11B. The J-11B is a reverse engineered version of the SCU-27 SK that replaces a lot of the Russian sensors, avionics, and weaponry with domestic Chinese replacements as well as added support for anti-ship missiles and um, ordnance for uh, air ground attack. Uh, violations of the license remain a point of contention between Russia and China as China has gone far beyond the terms of the license, namely with reverse engineering uh, this equipment that uh, they weren't supposed to do. Um, and to this day, Russia still regards J-11B as a um, as an illegal copy in violation of uh, of intellectual property rights. Attempts to outfit J-11 with the domestic WS-10 engine were troublesome, as Shenyang built the engines using substandard production and quality control practices, resulting in engines that needed servicing every 30 hours as opposed to every 400 hours for the Russian equivalents, and for a time I believe they were also underpowered as well. Eventually, though, the quality issues were ironed out, and by 2009, the WS-10A was finally mature enough to power the Block 2 J-11 aircraft. The J-11 has yet to see active combat service, with its current service history mainly including uh, state exercises, joint exercises with Pakistan, and interceptions of uh, Navy aircraft, primarily uh, P-8 Poseidons, most notably in August 19th of 2014, when a J-11B conducted an unsafe and unprofessional interception of a P-8A, which caused a minor diplomatic incident. Uh, variants include the original J-11A, which is the, which are for all intents and purposes SC-27Ks that were built from kits supplied by Russia, the domestic upgraded J-11B. The J11BS, which is a twin seat version of the J11B, the J11BSH, which is a version made for uh, the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force, and the J15, a reverse engineered version of the SU 33, which incorporates technology improvements from the J11 program, and the J16 a domestic version of the SU-30 MKK that is claimed to be based on the J-11BS and the J-11D. An upgraded version featuring ASA radar, uh, infrared search and track, fly-by-wire control system, glass cockpit, improved electronic warfare systems, an improved WS-10 engine, and greater use of composites for a reduction in weight and radar signature. Now, as of February 2014, 95 J-11As and over 110 J-11Bs and BSs are in service with the PLAAF, 
and 48 J11 BHs and BHSs are in service with the PLA and AF. So, not much to say, it's just, uh, it, essentially an advanced flanker derivative, uh, based heavily off of the SC-27, so, um, more capable than its, uh, origin to be sure, but, um, probably, you know, getting a little long in tooth, hence the, uh, the, um, J16 project, which is based on the more advanced SU30. Again, we can see we have a uh, very maneuverable aircraft, even at these speeds, it's uh, listering fast. Although, uh, oh, that's interesting. We were at uh, 120 knots and still losing altitude, so. In that respect, the uh, performance of the flanker is definitely worse than the uh, X-32 and the F-22 uh, in-game. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's, I mean, to be realistic, it's probably comparable to the F-15 or the F-14. And these guys are all clueless. Because for some reason, even though we claimed we're China, they, uh, the airfields still don't register as being on our side, so these guys are flying at like 50 knots, if that. Like, this is how you can tell the AI cheats in this game, because that, my friends, is surely well below stall speed, especially being pitched at, uh, or rotated at like 90 degrees like that. That's a load of BS that I'm calling. But in any case, our mission is done, so let us escape. Mission success. You have successfully completed this quick mission. Destroyed the five targets. So we had one kill. And I imagine most of our wingmen got a kill or two. Yep, two failed, one hit. Kind of the same story for our wingmen, except they had one spoofed. Yep, one on us failed. There were only three launches on us. The other two we spoofed with friggin' massive amounts of chaff. Um, I was a little, a little curious because like I got the missile alarm and I didn't even deploy chaff and then it turned off and it's like, huh? Did that missile just like turn itself off or something? But in any case, that is the J11 showcase and. Um, Next time we'll be doing the uh, J-15 and then um, we'll be doing the J-16 and then moving on to American aircraft that I have put off for so so long uh, which I think is mainly just going to include the F-22, the X-32, uh, the F-35, the um, B2 and the F117. So look forward to that. And with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then.